We want to talk a little bit about component forms of vectors. So when we dealt with directed line segments, it can be kind of cumbersome because you have to think about the, the starting point and the ending point. And in two dimensions, that's four different coordinates you have to keep up with. And as the dimensions increase, you know, you just get more and more to deal with. And as we saw in an example, two vectors can be equivalent even if their starting and ending points are, are different as long as they have that same slope and they have the same magnitude. So if vectors don't really depend on the starting point, they just depend on the relationship between the starting and the ending point, then it makes sense to talk about vectors in terms of those components, in terms of how far they went in each dimension. So when we talk about vector component forms, there's a specific notation that we want to use. So if I have, for example, a vector that starts at the origin. So if a vector V starts at the origin, and, and let's say it ends at some point V1, V2, right? So some X, Y, so we're dealing with two dimensions here. Then we can write a component for vector So then we say the component the component form of V is so notice that I'm using it almost kind of looks like a less than symbol. So really if you look at these notations in books, they're not like less than and greater than's are, you know, they're, they're big, um, like this. These are going to be more like, like thin ones. They're going to be like dinks. And that's, that's supposed to help you differentiate. In practice, you almost never would see those be confusing because of the way they'd be ordered. But the component forms look like this. They have you have that, that X difference and that Y difference are contained here. So notice that it doesn't really, it doesn't really depend on the fact that it starts at the origin. We're really just looking at the links in those dimensions. So if you thought about it, you could say the same idea if If I said, if V starts at X zero plus, or X zero, Y zero, it ends at X zero plus V one, Y zero plus V two, Well, in this particular case, notice that we've still only gone a distance of V1 or a distance of V2. So it's the same vector. So remember that it only depends on how far you've gone, not necessarily where you start or not necessarily where you end. Vectors just have to do with how to get there from, from here. So if you think about being on something like a chessboard, if you were to go up two spaces and over one, it wouldn't matter which location you started at. You just, your piece is supposed to go up two pieces and over one. Now, it definitely matters when you're playing chess, but from a practical standpoint, you move the same regardless of your starting position. And that's the idea of a component form.